Hi guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I have a confession to make. I just bought the entire Jeffree Star holiday collection. I don't have it all here. I bought it in pieces because initially I just got the Alien palette here and I bought the lipstick bundle and I also got one velour liquid lip scrub. So what I thought I'd do for you today is a no BS review of what I have here and then I went a little ham after I tried this and I bought every lip ammo, every lip scrub. The only thing that I didn't buy was I didn't get the white um, a carry bag and I believe there was a mirror. So I didn't get those things but every makeup product that was available in this collection I did get. So do I have a problem? Yes. Do I care? No. Because this makeup is phenomenal and I just wanted to take you through it. I know I'm a little late to the party on this. Everyone has been doing this already which is why I'm not going to do any swatches. I'm not going to do anything like that because you've seen it the world over and you know what YouTube I made you a few probably not um you can watch a YouTuber a bigger one that has 10,000 hours of swatch time and their swatches look gorgeous mine do not if you wanted to see uh, lipstick swatches and you're curious as to see what probably bad swatches look like you can check out my uh, Instagram it is killer cupcake 2 and you can have a look at that yes I said killer cupcake and with a 2 on the end of it and you can have a look at my um probably bad swatches but these, if you do look at that swatch, these stain. Like, these are quite pigmented. I, I swatched it here, and I had, not that you can see it, but I actually had staining. I still do. Um, for two days. I think I've had this for two days now. Uh, like I said, I'm a little late to the party, but I just got this. It took a while for me to get it, get down to my P.O. box, and it, it doesn't matter. Um, all that matters is I'm going to take you through, like I said, a no BS review. This is not me talking down about the makeup nothing like that this is just from one person's perspective and really this has nothing to do with the makeup the quality of the makeup is phenomenal for the price point you have to remember this is a $54 palette I just saw a NARS one come up on Sephora now Canada today and I believe it has 12 colors for $75 so if you have any complaints about the blendability or the quality of this or it yeah, there's too much fallout or whatever you're paying 54 US dollars for this instead of 75 okay it is canadian for 12 colors and this palette is like i said it's it's really gorgeous it's sturdy it's fun the eyeballs actually are raised up uh, i believe he said it was this uh, jeffree star said this was a vegan leather either way it still looks nice it flips open like that and there are all your colors when i first saw this color scheme oh and my fingerprints when i first saw this color scheme i was like wah, wah. it didn't excite me but when you get this Wow, I, the ideas are just like, quite honestly, there's so many fun usable colors in here for me that it was just, I was blown away by it, to be honest. Black Hole, I'm not likely, it's a, a true black. I'm not likely to use Black Hole just because I'm not someone that excels at wearing black makeup. I end up looking like a raccoon. So everything from Black Hole up, I could really work with. Um, I really like Titan, I like Gravity, and I like Phone Home and Flying Saucer. I I know it, some of you are probably like green makeup. Yes, I did a green makeup challenge with a friend of mine and a, a co previous co-worker and she bet me I couldn't wear green makeup and I wore some green makeup. So with this, let's just close this again. For me, this is a heavy, heavy palette. I'm not wearing any of this makeup today because I took a look at myself at 5 a.m. when I woke up and I was just like, not doing it. I picked this up and I'm just like, oh. Like, it's too heavy. Like, this is, it's a heavy, heavy palette. In my opinion, it's not the lightest. So if you, someone like me, that likes to hold up their palettes when they're doing stuff, it's sort of like, can't, no. Uh, just put it down. I mean, I'm whining, but like, seriously, just put it on the counter. That's no reason to not buy the makeup or complain about it. As well, too, if we really want to start getting into it, it's difficult to look at the mirror and try to paint your face. Like, like you really have to, I don't know if you can see that, but you really have to, like, hold it. So then you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to flip it back upside down because that makes sense. My bathroom mirror is in front of me. Great, but now I'm putting, like, my horse hand on the mirror. Oh, well, I mean, I'm likely not going to use a mirror in a palette anyway. So that's all fine and dandy with me. You can see I've already put my, well, you probably can't see, but I can see I put my fingerprints all over that. So no problem there. But again, it's quite, it, it's a heavier palette. This is well, um, it's big. Like, you put it down on your counter, you have a small bathroom like I do. It takes up a lot of space on the counter. So 
I find it's big, it's, it's a little heavy. Uh, I don't want to say it's heavy and everyone comes for me because like I have no arm strength. What, what I mean is in comparison to other palettes which may not be as good of quality, keep that in mind, it is, it's up there in terms of weight. There's nothing wrong with that, I'm not complaining. Um, so I'm just mentioning it. So anyways, it is heavy, it's a bit, the shape is a bit awkward. I find the way I store my palettes, which is up, I have uh, these palette holders from Amazon. Uh, I believe it's called Makeup Organization or Eyeshadow Palette Organization. You can Google that and purchase them and it basically stores them in a little slot. This one, unless I store it like this, which looks super weird, um, you can try to store it like this or whatever. Um, it sort of looks, it's not your standard shape. I would prefer if it were me, more of a rectangle or a square or something. But I understand what he's doing here. Obviously you want to be different and this is, let's face it, this is quite different and I can appreciate that on some level but just pointing out that it is a palette if you don't consider that it's difficult to it can be difficult to store quite honestly I didn't think of it till I got it and I went to put it in my collection the rest of the Jeffree Star palettes and I'm like oh so it just looks a little odd I mean it just sits there and it kind of like alien head on the side no big deal uh, so if we go back in here like I said you know what maybe I will grab one swatch I'm gonna do flying saucer and this is like an intense green. And again, y'all have seen the world over people that have countless hours of swatching power. Like, look at that. That's terrible. But my point is, you can build this. This is not, you know, that's totally buildable. So you have to do a couple little extra building, a uh, uh, couple extra strokes or whatever. Again, $54 price point, And I mean, it might even be less. I believe it was $54. You can't go wrong. Like, you just cannot, there's not a lot of fallout, I don't find. I find the quality of the eyeshadows for the price point, the blendability is just amazing. So, those are just my, I guess, point outs to you guys in terms of weight, size, it's awkward. But, let's face it, I will deal with all that if I get good product inside for a price point that is fair. And you really do get that with this palette. So now we move on to the Velour Liquid, <laughs> Liquid Lip Scrub. The Velour Lip Scrub. Now this is eggnog smells amazing i'm not about to eat it with my dirty hands and fingers i'm not going to put them in there and nobody wants to hear me sucking on my fingers because that's just gross um but these are awesome okay whoever like there's nobody when he says he's the greatest thing or if he's ever said that i don't know but he should say that because jeffree star i mean because these are absolutely phenomenal i have a few from lush and in terms of price point comparing lush to this because I have to pay a, um, a conversion fee on Canadian dollars, this actually works out to be slightly more money than um, the Lush ones. The Lush ones are smaller. This is, um, what is this, point, oh, I'm sorry. This is 30 grams, and I believe the Lush ones are 25 grams. But in all honesty, the, this jar is so big, you can get your full finger in there, even if you have nails. I find with the Lush ones, the jars are a lot smaller, so getting your fingers in there, you end up getting it all underneath your nail, and that's just a mess, and nobody wants this, that, but with, with this, you can fully dig in there, and you don't get that much underneath your nail, because the actual opening is just bigger, plus, they smell amazing, so I really like this, I've used this several times now, it's my new go-to, and like I said, I just ordered the rest of the collection, which I think included, like, two or three more, and then I bought some more stuff on top of that, the candy necklace and uh, the chocolate cherry one. Does anyone need five lip scrubs? Yes. So moving on to the Velour Liquid Lips. These are awesome. I love them. My newest favorite color is Clout. I'm wearing it on my lips as we make a mess right now. I was going to actually put it on as liner for you guys just to show you that that is possible. I did do that with You're Still on the Property and it worked out phenomenally. You just drop some on like a glass mirror or just like a, even your hand, flat brush in and stamp it across. Worked out perfectly for me. It dried down, no problem, no transfer to the lids, nothing like that. However, it does stain. Um, I found that I had remnants of your on the property in the end so I just figured a black liner today, I did that yesterday, would be better so I wasn't over mixing colors. But again, I'm not going to swatch these just because you guys have seen that the world over. But these are highly pigmented, fantastic value, $105 for eight of them. If you buy them individually, I believe it was $144. The colors are phenomenal. The staying power is excellent. I think I only touched up clout once today, and that was breakfast and lunch, and I'm about to eat dinner, and it'll probably last through that. So the value is there. 
So that's it for me, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this um, mini no BS uh, Jeffree Star Alien Christmas collection. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.